Crash this time, and we can finally do our first race. Oh, that is an option. Kind of, you, you do have to do the race, but you know, it's an option if you do it first or last or whatever, and you choose to do that. Oh, I'm racing another Cobalt. Wow. All right, let's see if I can do it. No nitrous or anything. Completely stock car. Perfect launch helps. And if you're wondering how I do that, um, basically, um, it, it depends on the car, but usually I rev it up all the way uh, to the uh, red line. And then after a half a second, it's very technical, but yeah, after a half a second, I release it. And it's released for a second, and then after two, and uh, uh, like through the two, it's released for a second, and then after that second, I press on it again for half a second, then I release uh, for three quarters of a second, and then the last quarter of a second, I floor it. And that puts it um, in uh, the red zone, or the red line, or the, neither, it's the. Um, the perfect launch zone, and then, uh, just have to hope that it's still in the, uh, red line zone when, uh, it hits go, and if it is, then you get perfect launch. You keep calling it the red line, and it's not the red line. The red line you've gone over too much. Alright, so, yeah, this first race is pretty easy, actually. Um, nothing particularly hard about it. Uh, just a, a simple circuit race. Uh, this shortcut is a godsend. If you do not take this shortcut, then you may not be dumb, but it, you're not thinking. This is, like, the perfect shortcut. And you have more than enough time to turn out after you go through the shortcut, so there's really no point in not taking it in this race. And there we go. It's been one. First time I ever tried to do that in the first episode that I recorded uh, days ago was... Um, it took me three tries to win that one race. It was awful because I have to get used to this small screen. Anyway, I'm gonna see if in these next three things I can beat uh, Sunny because I've already gone over time anyway. Let's see what we can do. Silence aside, um, this is the first race um, where you actually have a problem with attracting the cops' attention. Before it was scripted into the game that the cops would be there, and now uh, you actually 
need to have them be called upon you. Uh, you do this by causing property damage, but later on it becomes scripted into races that um, they have to come, they have to be called, come toward you. Um, I think. Maybe it's just that um, the other racers are crashing into things and causing damage, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's scripted though. <laughs> and there it is, but it's uh, we're almost at the end of the race anyway. So, I'm probably not going to have to worry too much. Yeah, you really, you guys really are lucky that, um, you don't have to see the first thing because I had to hide from, uh, I don't even know what it was at the door, but oh well. God damn it! No! Okay. Great, right, right at the end of the race, too. There it was in practice. I thought I'd butchered it up a little, but, you know, it is possible to come back. In fact, you don't even have to do the, um, like, first release and then rev again. You can just keep it up in the red line until, um, the, uh, the one. English friend Rachel has signed on, but it says that she's away, so probably doesn't want to be disturbed, or, um, for some reason, that happens to, like, all of my friends, uh, Skype reflexively signed them on. I don't know how it happens, but for some reason, whenever I talk to my friends, and I think that they're online, nope, they just got signed online by some random nuclear force. Here come the cops. Of course I'm running from you. Do you think I'm just gonna stop? Street racers never stop for cops. They bolt it. So they figure their cars are faster than the cop cars, which in most cases is true. At least that's what this has taught me. I think they probably have the potential to be really fast, but like they just do not. They like hold back. Apparently, police chases are illegal now. Actually, you, if you're a cop and you see someone speeding like that, you have to let them go. If it becomes a chase, which I find kind of stupid. They're gonna cause so much damage, you need to try and box them in or something. Yeah. Probably after this pursuit, I'll temporarily stop the recording so that I'll be able to have enough, um, uh, space. Video. Yeah, that kind of sucked. I don't know why, because this thing is ever so slightly delayed. With a game like this, it doesn't really matter that much. It's just a very slight delay, and it's kind of uh, weird. But, um, not much to worry about, I guess.
so we've already done straight paint. Um, I need to do three milestones, and there's three here, but there's also a, um, a, uh, um, speed trap, uh, challenge that you can do to get another milestone and some more bounty. I think it'd be 50,000 bounty. Milestone complete. Um, some challenge. So you have to evade in under 4 minutes. God damn it. Alright, sorry. I can obey. Alright, so they're gonna be coming from um the uh thing, whatever. Causing damage. But I can go in here. Alright. We're done. Okay, yeah, I don't care about these. If you want to read them, you can pause. Anyway, that will be it for the first two episodes of... Well, the, well, the next two episodes of Let's Play Need for Speed Most Wanted. Um, next time, we're going to do some more challenges and see if we can defeat Sunny. See y'all later. Oh yeah, just as an added thrill on, um, I'm waiting for, um, the audio from my iPod to finally be compressed so I can send it to iTunes. It's taking forever because the file was so huge. <sighs> um, for every blacklist I defeat, and this includes, um, getting into the 16th spot in the blacklist, I'm gonna make a car with everything... I have unlocked. It's basically kind of kind of be jokey. Stop a minute. Just look on the floor. Um. Go. <laughs> and yeah. Fusion and roof scoops northeast performance max performance and visuals black. Where's that one? That one. It's gonna be, uh... Blue and green flame. Why the fuck not? It looks ugly as hell. But, I don't care. Oh. Alright, well, I'll put numbers on it later. And there we go. So that will be something for me to do. Uh, sorry if you can't hear the background audio. That's because I don't have my iPod thing. And yeah, I am going to save. Zero four nine. Anyway, um, yeah. There we go. There's your added bonus for the day. Bye.